This is Fox 13 News at 9. A local business owner has been missing for more than a week now. The last person he was seen with has been found dead. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Merle Purvis. And I'm Marius Payton. Daryl Green is off tonight. It's a bizarre twist in a missing person's investigation. Fox 13's Zach Crenshaw has been investigating himself. He spoke with Sanjay Patel's family today. Zach. That's right, Merle. Tonight marks nine days since the head of the family went missing here at his liquor store in Bartlett. Now that his two sons and his wife want answers, but the one man they thought could provide them is now dead. At Wine and Spirits, business appears normal. Things are anything but, though. Just ask Raj Patel. Son of Sanjay Patel, a person who's been missing past nine days now and without a trace. Raj flew in to keep the business going, but it's hardly his top priority. Thinking about him all day long, every single second, you know, how, what kind of situation he could be in or how safe he is, that's the first thing, hopefully. The 44-year-old father of two, who went by Sam, was last seen on surveillance video, leaving his liquor store in a black pickup truck with a man named Marcus Perry. He was actually a regular customer here and that's the only thing I know. According to witnesses in surveillance video, the last place that Marcus Perry was seen was here at TJ Mulligan's. Employees tell me his behavior was so erratic that he was kicked out of the bar. That's when he walked down the street to Patel's liquor store and met up with the owner. Eight days later and three miles away. The entire time Patel was missing, Marcus Perry, the man he was last seen with, was missing as well. They found him here at his home on Tuesday afternoon after his brother intentionally broke into the house to call police here. When police arrived, they found the black pickup truck in the garage and Perry upstairs. When they did, they found him laying dead in the bed with a gun in his hand with a gunshot wound to the head. And... Honestly, they say it's suicide and they've already released the house to family. Police told neighbor Zach Simonton the death didn't happen yesterday. They said the body was uh, entering rigor mortis, which means it was starting to stiffen up. And they said that the house stunk, which means it had been there for a while. So they think nobody's seen him since that day that he picked up the guy. So they think it happened either Monday night or Tuesday is what the detective was saying that was here. I spoke with and emailed Bartlett and Memphis police today. Both told me it's an ongoing investigation. But Bartlett said a man was found dead Tuesday at Perry's address. As police process evidence, the Patel family waits anxiously to see what, if any, clues can lead to their father. I wanted both people to be safe and sound, but we already know that one of them is not with us, so that makes the whole story go crazy. Now, Patel's son tells me he was notified of Marcus Perry's death by Perry's family. They told him there was no suicide note found at his home. Police are not commenting on, evid on any evidence found, and they are not releasing the police report tonight either. I do know that MPD detectives were called out to assist Bartlett police in investigating that crime scene, though. Reporting live tonight in Bartlett, Zach Crenshaw, Fox 13 News. All right, thank you, Zach. Tonight, the